Here? Yeah. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Because this is uh, this is a real baffle job. Let me uh, let me shove the wire through it here while you're watching. You just immediately just you just sit there and watch, all right? And I'll put the wire through it, all right? I'm shoving the wire in now. And by the way, I thought there was a, I thought there was some possibility that I was uh, shoving this wire through, and maybe it was crap coming off the wire. Okay. So after I here. Yeah, let me pick it up and show you the other end. Here's the other end, okay? Okay, I got both ends now. Well, it's kind of tight in the garage here, but... Yeah, you can see it coming through, all right? I got it bent into a tight loop. It's kind of hard to pull because it's bent, it's convoluted, and it's in tight curves. But when it's laying straight out on the floor, it's easier to push, all right? But the deal is, that doesn't matter. Because when I pull this wire back out and blow through it again with the blow gun, maybe something will come out and maybe it won't. There's the wire, all right? Here's the blow gun right where it was. I'm going to blow through it while you watch and you tell me, all right? Nothing comes out. I'll hold it right up against my knee. See, you got the hair on my leg. It don't even move. I hope you can see that. Not even one iota. And I can blow from the other end. It's the same deal. But the wire goes through. So, uh, let's see if I can rig this up again. Yeah. Yeah. Can't hold it. I can't hold this. I need another hand. But, see the air don't move. You can take my word for it. I've tried blowing on this bitch, okay, with my mouth. And not just, uh, well, you know. i blown on it. And uh, you can't even blow through it by mouth. Well, you can't blow through it with the air compressor either, which goes up to 125 pounds. Matter of fact, I uh, had it just had a full pump. It cycled on, and I, get, I let it run up to a full pump all the way up to 125. Then I held this thing on here tight as a mofo, and then I pulled the trigger. Nothing comes out, see? I mean nothing. Zero. Yet the wire goes through. I've had the wire through numerous times. So that's a baffling deal. I'd appreciate a tip on that. Maybe the, uh, my theory is that there's a neoprene seal in here. But I don't know. I know one thing for sure. When you, <laughs> when you blow through this thing, it sure as shit does move, okay? So yeah, here's this. There's no... That moves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, this is not clogged, of course. Yeah, that's all nice and open. So, uh, you know, it's pretty baffling. There's the stuff. The Bernard. It may or may not be a Q200 gun. I'd appreciate if you tell me what it is. Is that a Bernard? It's a K and K, I. And uh, K and K welding products, but they're a they're a subdivision of Bernard, according to this uh, web page I got. And it's a Euro torch. It's only a uh, 10 foot. It's a 10 foot model. Yeah. Okay. It's a 10 foot model. I've measured it, and uh, I checked the continuity with my little uh, my little uh, piece of crapola here. This is my little piece of crapola continuity checker. Yeah. And the switch does work. The switch on the MIG gun does work. I haven't tried the machine yet. But um, so far I've cleaned the gun a little bit. I've dismantled the gun some. And uh, I'm hoping you can tell me what model gun this is. I think it's a Bernard Q200. But it might be a Q150. And I don't know if it's a center fire or not. But I can tell you one thing for sure. The liner sticks out of here about an inch. See where my thumb is? It sticks out of here about an inch. When you first dismantle all this stuff, okay, you take it off the gun, the liner is protruding about an inch. This is when the mushroom head end is in the other end down here, okay? So, uh, it's a baffling thing. Uh, the question is, if this is a Q200 gun, what consumables do I get for it? Because 
the only Q200 guns I can find now are center fire models and I don't know if it's a Q200 it might be a Q150 I know it's a Bernard the nozzles a Bernard and another question is is this thing a, twi a Twico clone is this gun a Twico clone uh, is it got Twicoism does it is it a Twicoistic thing uh, because a lot of these guns are Twico clones I uh, from what I read online but this one I think Bernard might be a a breed unto itself and these things I think come different lengths although I'm not real sure this end I know one thing for sure when I stick the 045 wire through here it goes easy no problemo this thing will slide along on the wire I'll show it to you now yeah check my word for it this is a uh, or watch it on the movie here it is this is the 045 wire you can see it just slides right along no problem now falls right off so I guess this thing's worn so uh, but uh, you know and a matter of fact yeah maybe you can focus in on this take a look at this see that can you see that hole all right let me hear you speak up louder I can't hear you this uh, this there's almost enough room to put one and a half of these wires in here in this end and uh, this ends a little more close closer to round okay but uh hell I don't know they may make this thing in a bigger size than 0452 for all I know maybe it's an 062 what the hell I guess the only way I could it don't look like it's 062 it, it could be it could be somewhere between 045 and 062 which would be I don't know what but uh but this thing's only about no oh, I don't know Maybe it's an inch and an eighth long overall. Inch and a sixteenth it looks like, give or take. It's not a very long thing. And so, uh, you know, that's the diameter of the thing. And uh, it's a small thing. And it goes in here like this, you know. This thing, go, this thing goes into this deal here, right, uh, like that. It only turns a little tiny bit, and that's enough. And, uh, you know, and then this, of course, this thing goes over it after it's on the gun, you know, like EA and whatever. That goes on there. And, uh, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know where to get the consumables for this gun. I don't know what kind of gun it is. I don't know if it's a Q200 or a Q150. I don't know if it makes a difference. I don't know if this thing is called a center fire inner nozzle or it ain't called a center fire. And uh, I'm hoping you can tell me. Here, let me show you the inside guts of this thing. I'll take it out in the sunlight. Maybe it'll be a, maybe I'll get a better view. Yeah, take it out in the sunlight here. We still have a little bit left here in Florida. And uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, right. God dang. Anyway, I don't know how to do this. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. This is going to be a hard one. Whoops. Well, I don't think <laughs> without some kind of light in the middle of the lens, you're not going to be able to see down in there. But there's nothing down there but darkness and the one little hole. And uh, you know, I don't know if it's a center fire deal. I don't know if it ain't a center fire. I just don't know what it is. Is it a Q200? Is it a Q150? Maybe it's a Q300. Maybe Bernard made two different models of Q200 because. Here's another thing. This trigger on this gun here, which is right here, where my thumb is, I'm pressing it now, is uh, black. Okay, it's black plastic. There it is. And, uh, you know, it's kind of warm, but so what? It does work. But the deal is, on the newer Q200 guns, this trigger is yellow. The ones they sell now, that are Q200, and maybe the other Bernard guns, this trigger is a yellow piece. The handle's still black, uh, but the trigger's yellow, and I don't know what that means, if anything. So, I'm hoping somebody watching this movie can tell me what the deal is. If anybody, f with, if any old guys that are welders have been using Bernard torches for decades could give me a clue on this, I'd sure appreciate it, because uh, 
I need to get these uh, nozzle parts, obviously, because these are what I call shot totally. Me and my late brother used to call these shot, and uh, like no good, like <laughs> like dead. So, uh, yeah, help me out here and give me a clue, all right? Thanks for watching today. Mm. Okay. Bye.